Well, hello guys, it's your girl Miss B, two snaps less work here. Hope you are doing well. Hope your week is on point. Your weekend, whenever you are watching this, I hope you are on point, happy, all the above. Your energy is high. Okay, the reason I'm excited because this is the month of April. It's my birthday month. Ow, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. April 15th. Is your girl Miss B's birthday, okay? And the theme is thrifty eight. You know, your girl turning 38. I know I don't really look it, but you know. So I'm calling it thrifty eight because all the days leading up to April 15th, I'm gonna be rocking at least one item that's thrifted or the entire look can be thrifted. So that is my theme, that's what I'm going with. But I'm here with a new video. But before we get into that, actually, let me say it. So the video is about me doing laundry and screwing up. Yes, you heard me. Screwing up my laundry. So before we get into that, let's just say, you know what? Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're well, like I said earlier. But thank you to those who already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate y'all. I'm so happy that you're here on this journey with me. To my new people who are just now getting here, welcome to Two Snaps Less Work. I'm your girl, Miss B. I do all videos regarding like, you know, thrift, fashion, beauty, hair, all of that stuff, whatever I'm feeling, styling hacks, in this case, clothing care. So yes, stay tuned. Please be sure to like, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend, and most importantly, hit that notification bell so you are always up to date when a new video drops. And also, come on, you gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe. And but yes, again, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's jump into it. So like I said, I went and did some laundry and totally forgot that I had this item. These green silk pants mixed in with my favorite cream pants from Target. The brand is A New Day. I spent some money on these little things. These are like um, maybe capris or culottes or you know whatever you like to call them, but they're the ones that are not full length pants. So these two were in the same. This is a brand new item. So the first time I washed it, what is it gonna do? It's gonna bleed. So this green was all over these pants. So yeah, I had the video where I filmed what they look like. I don't have, I should have took a before picture, but look, the whole leg was covered in green. Up here was green. The bottom of it was green. It was just a green situation. You could have called it cream, not cream, but green. That's what it looked like. But yes, I wanted to just, you know, hop on here and do a quick video because there may be somebody who is like, yo, I just messed my, I just messed up my favorite pants, my white pants, my cream pants. You know, I'm going to talk about uh, removing the stain from white or light garments. Um, I haven't really toyed around with a dark garment. I do have one that that green silk pant did bleed on. So I'm gonna see if I can find another um, another product to fix that. But for now, we are going to be talking about the whites, you know, the removing color from whites. So when I saw my pants, I cried. Yes, literally, I cried because one, I just wore those two weeks ago. Two, they're my favorites. Three, you always need a pair of cream or light color pants. You need them. Need in your closet, need. So when I took them out and I saw, I was like, this is it. It's the end. I have to sign off. I have to get rid of these. They're going in the trash. But something said, you know what? I'm sure there's a way to reverse what just happened. So if this ever happens to you, make sure that you do one, one or all of the following. So first things first, when you notice that your garment is the, another garment bled onto the, the, the garment, you make sure that you do not dry it. Do not dry that, that item that has dye in it, that bled on it, don't do it. Because what happens is when you dry that item that the dye is now on, you're going to allow that heat from the dryer to now settle that dye into the fabric. So there's no reversing after that. So your best bet is to try and rewash it right away, which I did. It did not work. I rewashed those in white clothes with bleach. That didn't work. So they did say in my Google research that the 
A couple of ways that you can fix this or reverse the color issue is by one, rewashing immediately with a, um, I think it's like a bleach free oxygen, oxygen based something. Don't really know the title of it, but I didn't have that. So that would be like your OxyClean. So OxyClean would be that one to get rid of the stain like that from what they say. I have not tried it, so I can't sign off on it. Number two, I saw that they said you can use hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide. I was like, well, I got that. Everybody got hydrogen peroxide in, 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 the, in the first aid kit. You know, you got that along with your alcohol. So I was like, all right, fine. So I doused it like crazy all over the stain and all that and literally added some laundry detergent to try and scrub it through. That didn't work. So I got a little uh, de dejected. So I was like, okay, number three, they said vinegar. They said, take one cup of vinegar, fill up the tub, not really fill up the tub, but like fill up the tub enough where the pants are floating. So I put the, the pants in the water, added a cup. Well, they said a cup. I put almost a cup and a half in there because I don't be following directions, but whatever. So I put a cup of vinegar in there and I let it sit for 30 minutes, which is what they said. That didn't work guys, it didn't work for me. So, um, Number four, they said there is a product by RIT, RIT. Okay, they said it was $2.59, $2.59 in my area. I got in my car so fast on my lunch break, drove over there and didn't realize it was Good Friday because all this happened on Good Friday. Good Friday is supposed to be a, a really great, you know, Christian holiday where, you know, you're really sitting around and just commemorating Jesus Christ, right? His crucifixion. But for those who... Uh, believe in those who um, celebrate. Happy Good Friday. But I literally went over there. The line was so long because it was Good Friday and people are shopping for, they call it Easter weekend. I refer to it as resurrection, but people are trying to get their Easter baskets and all that good stuff. So that's why it was a lot. I didn't care. I had my mindset on this one item and it's a little box. If I can fold it back, it's a little bitty box like this for $2.59. And what comes in it is this little piece here, and it's filled with pow like a powder solution, right? So I stood in the line. I didn't care. I think the line was wrapped around a little bit, but I said, you know what? I'm on a mission. The mission is to get that dye out my out my pants. Now, why I'm thinking about this is you want to make sure that you keep that item wet. Keep it wet. So I kept it in like a little hospital basin, you know, with water, and it was drenched, you know, until I was ready to, to do what I need to do. So this is RIT Color Remover, right? It's a laundry treatment and a dyeing aid. And it says it removes color, it removes dye stains from whites, which is what I need it for, and it's chlorine bleach, bleach free, right? So there is, you know, a couple caution when you use it that it is an eye irritant, so you wanna make sure that you definitely pour it slowly and not fast so that it doesn't splash in your face. I just put on my glasses, and still, you know, poured it slowly, but I just put on a little shield. So, like I said, it comes in this little packet. It's powder, powdery or whatever. But as I open the packet, on the back of the packet, it says, the color removal works best on cotton, linen, wool, rayon, and rami or rami. Not sure how to pronounce that. R-A-M-I-E. It also says it's not recommended for polyester or blue denim. Now, the pants that I am trying to fix are actually polyester. So I beg to differ from what they said because it worked for me. Maybe it's different polyester items that may not work, but it worked on that, so I'm happy, right? So for, um, for this particular one where I'm trying to remove the dye stain, because again, this is for dye projects, for dye stains, and for food stains. I'm using it for the dye stain. And it says, remove dye stains from white fabric washed by mistake with color items. Yeah, raise his hand, that happened to me. And then um, on the inside is, it has all these instructions, right? So there's a bunch of methods that you can take. There's a stove top method, there's a washing machine method for top loader, and then a washing machine method for the front loader. I actually went with the stove top method. So literally, this being the stove top, I got a big steel pot, kind of something that you would make like the big stew in or some collard greens if you're from the South. We all about that soul food. Yes, so you fill that halfway to the point where the pants or whatever item you are trying to get the stain out of actually can float. So I did that 
and it says to heat the water just below boiling so that would be like 200 degrees fahrenheit I'm not sure what that would be celsius but you'll have to convert that depending on where you are so um i literally just use like a temperature check thing what do you call that thermometer and it got to 188 and that's when i threw it in there i was like i don't got time to wait for 200 degrees um so that's when i you know poured in the solution because that's what it says make sure you get it hot um to the 200 degrees fahrenheit and you pour it in slowly and you have to make sure that you mix it you got to mix it up like completely before you add your garment in there so the next thing is carefully submerge your unfolded don't fold it don't throw it in mm -mm. so what i did was i put it in the pot like this like in like a little spiral right for it to kind of get in the pot so um, it says to also now stir consistently for up to 20 minutes. So you know how much work that is on one arm? Cause I'm a righty, I don't know about you. So me trying to do my left is kind of awkward. So I was sitting there for a minute, but for me, I didn't even need 20 minutes, bro. Sis, I didn't. It only took about 10 minutes for me. And I literally kept checking and be careful that water is hot. Cause I kept digging in there with my little two fingers. They still kind of, yeah, they sore right now. Now I'm thinking about it. Anyway, so I kept checking, you know, cause at the bottom, like I told you on the bottom of the pants, it was green here. So I kept checking that area. So I'm excited that it worked. So yeah, so consistently stirring, you know, and all that good stuff. And it says once the color or stain is evenly reduced. So I just did a quick check on the legs. Remember they were covered in green dye. Okay, these are polyester pants. Look, there's no sign of dye. This is one leg right now. There's no sign of dye got. Oh, I spilled it on the stove. Oh, it's hot. Look, there's no green, it's really hot. There's no green dye, guys. Like, I am mind blown. You know this costs $2.59 at Michael's? I literally is about to throw these pants out. And, oh my gosh, cooking your pants? What's on your menu? Hmm? What's on your menu for Friday night, guys? Ooh, child, we done nurse these back to life. I am excited. I'm happy. Ah! or remove, carefully drain the solution into the sink. For additional color removal, you have to repeat with a new pack. And then it says, using rubber gloves, I didn't use them. Um, you wanna rinse the fabric in warm water and then gradually cool water. I don't know what that does, but I, I followed the directions, I just have the gloves on. Uh, but then number seven is immediately wash in warm water with mild detergent by hand or in a washing machine. So you have to wash it again. So I don't wash those three times. The things is clean, clean, okay? But anyway, I'm excited to say that this worked for me. So thank you guys for watching, for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I hope you can bring whatever issue you messed up in your clothes back to life like I did. Um, if you ever run into that situation, you'll know what to do. You can always refer back to this video and get some tips, tricks, so again it's your girl miss b thank you so much for watching please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any other videos that come out okay so i'll see you in the next video bye